Senator Kabiru Gaya, APC Kanu, says he is yet to take any decision on calls for him to recontest for Kanu State Governorship seat in 2023. Gaya, a former governor of the state who appeared on Forum, news agency of Nigeria and flagship interview program, thanked those beckoning on him to recontest as governor of the state. The lawmaker who has been in the National Assembly for 13 years said while it was the desire of the people within and outside Kanu State for him to contest in 2023, he would need to consult with various stakeholders in the state. Gaya, chairman of the Senate Committee on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, said though he governed the state for two years, his achievements were still being remembered. I have done over 220 classroom blocks within a number of years, and I have done over 18 school action centers. I built 18 health centers in those areas. I've done roads network. I've done a lot of projects in that area, which uh, which have turned into billions of naira. And the people of Kano said are happy with me, and they 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 and I've done projects in every village, every local government of Kano State, every local government of Kano State. I have a project, either three classrooms, and we have all 44 local governments. My constituency has 16. But I extended to the remaining 28 local months, I did projects. So people are saying, well, as a senator, you're able to do this for us. And as a governor, before you did this for us, why don't you come back and uh, run for governor for 2023? Well, the decision has not been taken by my group and by myself. Uh, we are here, we are listening to them. You don't take such a decision until you do a lot of consultations with elders, uh, friends, and well wishers, even the ulama, as all the rest of stakeholders in Kano. We need to do consultation with them before we take a decision. And assessing the performance of the state under Governor Abdullahi Ganduje, the lawmaker said the present administration was doing well so far, given the projects and programs executed and should be commended. I think maybe I'd be the right person to, to assess him because I know how the seat feels, how the heat of that seat. And I was there for two years. I know what it takes to make a decision in Kano and do a project. So far, he's doing his best. Uh, his second term is better than his first term because his first term, he, when he came in, even though he was a deputy governor, he was learning how to uh, put up his program. He inherited a budget half of the year, and so he has to plan for his own half another year budget, and then he has to think of appointments and so on. So the first one year is the issue of training. Second and third year, he was doing some projects, and then the fourth year, he was com campaigning for re-election and our time based means on that. But when he came for second time, all these years has been doing projects, you can see the ply over the road he has done, even roads in the villages and so on. Poverty ablation programs he has been doing for, for the people of Kano State. I think he's doing very well and he has a very good pass mark from me and I believe from many other uh, indigents of Kano and I wish him well.